Hi, in this video, we'll introduce De Morgan's Laws. You may notice the voice in this video is different. It's because this is a guest lecture. My name is Calvin, and I'll be taking you through De Morgan's Laws. So, let's say you're at the amusement park, and you're waiting in line, and you look up at the sign, and it says that you cannot ride if it's not the case that you are tall enough and old enough. And you're looking at the sign, and you're like, hmm, so I can't ride if I'm not both tall enough and old enough. You're thinking about it and you're like, isn't that the same thing as saying, I can't ride if either I'm not tall enough or I'm not old enough? These are equivalent statements. Either I'm not tall enough or not old enough, that would lead to me not being able to ride. And you've just made this earth shattering realization and you're wondering who you can tell this to, who can you talk to, who, who else would understand? Well, meet Augustus de Morgan. He is very excited to meet you, and that's you meeting him, because what you just realized is what he realized back in the 1800s, and those are De Morgan's Laws. De Morgan's Laws are rules that show how we can negate ands and ors. According to De Morgan, not A and B is the same thing as saying not A or not B. Likewise, not A or B is the same as not A and not B. So in code, it would look like this. We have not A and B is equivalent to saying not A or not B. And you can kind of think of it as distributing the, the not throughout the statement. So we're going to negate the A to get not A, we're going to negate the and to get or, and we're going to negate the B to get not B. And we end with this statement of how to negate the and. Similarly, we can distribute the not through here, not A to get not A, negate the or to get and, and negate the B to get not B. And so these are De Morgan's laws. These can help you when you're trying to simplify a Boolean expression or figure out how to express some sort of logical statement. But why exactly do these laws work? So to understand how De Morgan's laws work, let's think of it as a Venn diagram. Imagine this entire gray square as all the people in the world, everyone in existence. Well, then this circle is all the people in the world who are tall enough to ride the ride, this green circle is all the people who are old enough to ride the ride. If we or them together, these are all the people in the world who are either tall enough or old enough. They fit in one of those two categories, or both. And these are all the people who are both tall enough and old enough. That's small subsection, it's like a Venn diagram. So that's how we're going to use this chart. Now, the question is, how can we represent not tall enough and old enough? Let's put that down there, that's our goal. Remember that this is tall enough and old enough. So really, we want the opposite of this. We want the negation of that. So everything that's green will make gray, and everything that's gray will make green. This is the opposite. This is all the people in the world who are not tall enough and old enough to ride the ride. And Morgan says that that is equal to all the people who are not tall enough or not old enough. Let's see if that's true. We'll put that down there, because that's our goal. Well, everything in green are all the people in the world who are not tall enough. It's the opposite of people who are tall enough. Now everything in green is all the people in the world who are not old enough. Not tall enough, not old enough, not tall enough, not old enough. So if we want all the people who fit into either of those categories, not tall enough or not old enough, we need to combine all that green. So putting the green together, we get this. This is the group of people who are not tall enough or not old enough. And we see this is exactly the same as what we had earlier for not tall enough and old enough. Therefore, they are equal to each other, they are equivalent. How about negating or? According to De Morgan, not tall enough or old enough is the same thing as not tall enough and not old enough. Well, let's put that to the test. So here we have the set of people who are tall enough or old enough. To negate that, we're just going to take the opposite. So these are all the people in the world who are not tall enough or old enough. So let's build the right side of this equation. We want to build not tall enough and not old enough. What does that look like? Well, right now the green is all the people who are not tall enough, and these are all the people who are not old enough. Now to add them together, we want the group of people who are both not tall enough and not old enough. And that's this group. If they were anywhere in the circle, then they would have to match at least one of those categories, but they don't match either. These are all the people that are not tall enough and not old enough. And this is exactly the same as what we just made for not tall enough or old enough. Therefore, we see that they're the same thing. Now, looking at it with Venn diagrams is definitely challenging. So 
To prove this even further, we can use truth tables to really cement that this is in fact true. So using truth tables, let's build up either side of this equality and make sure that no matter what A and B are, the result will end up being the same for both of these statements. So for the left side, we want to build not A and B. So let's look at every single possible combination of A and B and see what the result is. So what are the combinations? We can have true and true, true false, false true, and false false. That's every combination for AB. And let's look at A and B. Let's fill that column. Well, from top to bottom, true and true, that's going to make true. True and false is false. False and true is false. And false and false is false. So we have true, false, false, false. Now to negate that, to have not A and B, we just have to take the opposite of that column. So from top to bottom, we're going to have false, true, true, true. Cool. So that's the left side. Now let's do the exact same thing with the right side. And I'm going to color them differently so we can tell them apart. Again, let's list out every combination. True, 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 false, false, true, false, false. Now let's fill up the not A column. Well, looking at the A column, we just have to take the opposite. So we have false, false, true, true. Let's fill up the not B column. False, true, false, true. And now we simply OR them together. So OR is true whenever one of the inputs is true. It's only false when both are false. So looking at from the top to bottom, false or false, that's going to be false. False or true, that's going to be true. True or false is true. True or true is true. Now if we look at both of these truth tables, we see that those columns are exactly the same. For every input for A and B, we get the, we get the same result. Therefore, these statements are in fact equivalent. Not A and B is the same thing as saying not A or not B. Awesome. Now let's do it with or. We want to prove that not A or B is equal to not A and not B. Let's make a truth table for the left side. All the possibilities are false, true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. Let's build up A or B, true or true, that's going to be true, true or false, true, false or true is true, and false or false is false. And now we simply take the opposites of those, false, 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 true. And that is our truth table for not A or B. Now let's build up the truth table for the right side. All the combinations are true, call them differently. All the combinations are true, 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 false, false, true, and false, false. Now we'll simply take not A, false, false, true, true, not B, false, true, false, true, and and them together. So and will only be true when both of the inputs are true. So these first three columns are all going to be false because they have at least one false input. And the last one's going to be true. Now, same thing as last time, we look at that last column. These are exactly the same. No matter what the inputs for A and B are, both sides of this equality have the same result. Therefore, these statements are equivalent. And those are De Morgan's laws. They tell us how we can negate ands and ors. And this can help you simplify your Boolean expressions. Let's see De Morgan at work in the editor. So here we have a program that determines whether or not you can ride a bike. It asks you if you have a bike and if you have a helmet, and then negates an AND statement to determine if you can bike. You cannot bike if it's not the case that you have both a bike and a helmet. Well, according to De Morgan, this is the exact same statement. If we were to say, Boolean cannot bike De Morgan, all we have to do is distribute that not throughout the statement. So really, not has bike and has helmet is the same thing as saying not has bike or not has helmet. And this makes a little bit more sense. If you can't, if you don't have a bike or you don't have a helmet, then you cannot bike. So same thing down here. If cannot bike De Morgan, let's print out. You may not bike with De Morgan. Else we'll print out yeah, you can bike with De Morgan. And as an as an added measure, just to nail this just to nail this in, if we see that cannot bike has the exact same value as cannot bike De Morgan, well let me know that De Morgan was right. Let's try this out. Do I have a bike? True. Do I have a helmet? False. Mm, I may not bike, and I may not bike with De Morgan. De Morgan was right. Let's try something else. 
Do I have a bike? True. Do I have a helmet? True. Oh, then I can bike. I can also bike with DeMorgan. DeMorgan was right. So it seems that these statements are in fact the exact same. This is how we can negate an and. Now let's see DeMorgan at work with negating an or. This program is about night biking. It determines whether or not you can bike at night by asking if you have a headlight and if you have a bike light. You cannot bike if it's not the case that you either have a headlight or a bike light. You need one of those two in order to bike at night. So according to DeMorgan, this is the same thing as saying, let's make a new variable, cannot bike, cannot night bike DeMorgan. He says the, this is the exact same thing as saying, not has headlight and not has bike light. So if you don't have a headlight and you don't have a bike light, then there's no way you can bike at night. You need one of the two. This is the same statement. So just to make sure that DeMorgan was right, let's do this again. Cannot bike DeMorgan. You may not bike at night with DeMorgan. And you may bike at night with DeMorgan. Just to make sure that they were the same value, if cannot night bike is equal to cannot night bike DeMorgan, then we have to give it to him. DeMorgan was right. Let's try it out. Do I have a headlight? False. Do I have a bike light? False. I may not bike at night, and I may not bike at night with DeMorgan. He was right. Let's try it again with different inputs. Do I have a headlight? True. Do I have a bike light? False. Ah, oh, I can bike at night, and I can bike at night with DeMorgan because I have a headlight. DeMorgan was right. There we go. So this right here is the magic. We can negate any and or or statement by distributing the or through. And that is DeMorgan's laws.